Hey folks, I'm Sasan. This is Proteus Debate Academy. We are a YouTube channel that is kind of an equity project. The idea is that we are trying to make free, high quality resources for people in the debate community, whether that's uh, debate coaches or debate competitors. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to give an update for what we're going to have coming up in this like next stretch. People who've been like longtime followers of the channel might know that we kind of go on these like boom and bust cycles of making a lot of videos and then not making a lot of videos. And the reason for that is because we work in debate. So um, when the debate season is at its peak and busiest, and people are probably most interested in debate content, we're busy coaching. Uh, and when we have the most time to make stuff, it's like August and nobody's thinking about debate. But um, that's fine because a lot of this content lives for years and uh, people go back and watch our old videos all the time. So I'm not really stressed that like, we don't gain anything from from this getting more views or like hitting like prime demographics at the right time and whatever. I'd like for more people to have access to these resources, but anyway, I'm not I'm not stressed that um, we're gonna be putting stuff out uh, in kind of this off season. Um, with that having been said, uh, let's talk a little bit about the stuff that. Uh, I want to make the stuff that Paul wants to make and then how you can tell us what you want to see because that is also the stuff we want to make. So uh, I guess starting with Paul, Paul mentioned that uh, Paul is a full-time uh, professor at uh, Diablo Valley College um, and he teaches college argumentation and debate courses. And a lot of those have like essentially lecture series and assignments. I don't know if he wants to, I don't know what he wants to put on here exactly, but I know that he wants to basically catalog an argumentation and debate courses worth of lectures um, and put them on here to make it a little bit more, um, make it kind of beginner friendly resource. When we started the channel, we initially wanted to build like a video textbook for debate. Um, but that was really boring. <laughs> and like people who are new to debate don't seek it out when you're a YouTube channel that has like 30 subscribers, right? It's not like people are like, I'm going to go home and see how long I can dig until I find something about like claim worn and impact. Um, the, the people who found the channel were people who had already been competing a lot and had much more like nuanced or advanced questions and us knowing the answers to those questions. We kind of like catered to that audience. Um, catered to might not even be the word, right? The, gee, these are just the questions we're answering when we're making videos. So anyway, I think Paul wants to go back and make some of that stuff. Um, as for my part, um, our round analysis videos have been really popular. Um, so I might make one or two more of those. Personally, I they're exhausting to make. And I don't know, I, I, I try to, you know, I, I, I've heard it said that unsolicited advice is always criticism and um that makes you know a debate analysis video tricky and i just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings i always feel like i don't even like disclosing after rounds people are like so did who who won it's like i don't want to tell one of you you lost i don't know so um that's part of the analysis bit that I don't really enjoy is feeling like I'm criticizing these people who didn't ask for my feedback, but I don't know. Hopefully I've walked that line well in the past and, um, I think they've been very helpful for people. Um, so happy to do that. Um, we want to do some more interviews. Um, we have, uh, three alumni who won national championships this last season. So, Definitely want to talk to them, but um, there's also just interesting people in the forensics world who have 
jobs and roles and stuff that I want to know a lot more about and who I don't get to talk to um, normally. Um, or who I do get to talk to, but normally we have to talk about like a, a thing we have to do that day. And I'd love to just talk about forensics. And so I'm interested in reaching out to some of those people. Um, I will probably just put up a bunch of videos, not exactly lectury, maybe lectury, but just sort of talking about some idea um, within like a strategic sort of like, is this effective? Is this not effective? What are my thoughts on this strategy and debate? Um, we're also really curious to hear from you what you want to see. Uh, and I'll let you know more at the end of the video. I mean, just write a comment, reach out to us. I'll specify more. Uh, I also reached out to, speaking of our alumni, a bunch of our alumni. I mean, I've told them in the past, and I'll probably reinforce this, that like if they have any videos that they want to make, uh, I'd, I'd, we'd love to have them make it and for us to host it here. Um, if anything, it'll make our content come out more regularly, but also, you know, they have perspectives that we don't have. Um, for example, all three of our national champion alumni from the last year were women and, uh, Paul and I are not. And, you know, there's, especially in high school, but not exclusively in high school, there's, there's a lot of problems with like the underrepresentation and the like bad representation of women in debate. Um, and if we can be a platform for um, addressing those equity gaps in some way, happy to do that. Um, so yeah, let's talk a little bit about the other side of this, which is um, what I'm doing for work now. So I work for, I've had, I've had jobs in forensics the entire time that I've run this channel, right? Um, all of the other jobs that I've had have been for debate academies, which if you're not familiar, are essentially after school programs um, that are usually expensive and they're not like run by the school. So they're an independent program and you sign up and then you get like coaching. And a lot of it's focused on like middle schoolers because the high school leagues have kind of shunned this um but uh but yeah um that's not the case right now i work for a uh, non-profit and the non-profit that i work for we do a lot of things but one of the things that we do is we build we work to build like speech and debate teams at high schools throughout New York. And for example, one of the ways we do that is we go to schools that are interested in having a debate team and have a teacher on the ground who is interested in coaching a debate team and we just mentor that history teacher, English teacher, whatever, in becoming a debate coach rather than just finding a debate coach and sending them to a school for like a year and maybe they know how to communicate with those kids and maybe they don't and maybe they leave in a year and maybe they don't like we're just trying to build much more sustainable uh, programs with people who already work with and have a relationship with the student populations at like low income schools. Um, but yeah, the, the, the nonprofit that I work for is really cool and um, it's my favorite place I've ever worked. And um, my bosses are my favorite people I've ever worked for. Uh, some of my favorite people I've ever met, um, which makes this a little bit tricky, right? Um, because I think the content that we that I make. So what do I do there? I I'm I. It's a very small nonprofit. There's only like there's three full timers and then one like honorary full timer, right? So. Um, And, and, and there's a lot of things to do that are not teaching debate. And so my job, among other things, is I basically make the curriculum. So I'm the one who decides, like, when students learn debate, how are they taught debate? When judges are taught to judge, how are they taught to judge? When we run tournaments, how are they structured? I directed a summer camp this summer. Um, I 
basically designed it from the ground up. I got a lot of help from really, really talented people. Uh, but, you know, for years I've been on this channel talking about, like, how I think forensics should be and how it should be taught and how it should be structured. And for the last, you know, seven months, I've worked for this really cool uh, organization that's basically given me a blank check to um, to put those ideas to use and um, just actually try them out and see if they work. And so far, um, it's been working really well. Our camp went phenomenally. We lost $30,000, but we don't need to make a profit on everything that we do um, because we're a nonprofit now. Um, we do like it's it's a sliding scale and any student that said they couldn't pay whatever uh we we didn't charge um but some people do pay right so that's kind of the tricky bit right that's kind of what i wanted to talk about which is i'd like to talk about the work that i'm doing because i think the work is interesting um and valuable to talk about, right? Like we have all these curriculums that I've made. I just want to put that curriculum online and just literally talk through the PowerPoints that I've made and every little like activity for how to teach research and how to um, teach values and stuff like that, like as resources for coaches and teachers and stuff. Um, but what I don't want is I don't want to hurt our credibility with you and make it sound like what I'm trying to do is get people to like pay money to this organization. Um, so like we've uh, never made any money off of this YouTube channel and we never will, right? Um, that... <laughs> sounds silly to me saying it because I like I don't think we're a big platform I don't think we could be making a lot of money if we wanted to uh but like from the get-go we like turned ads off back when YouTube let you choose if you had ads but if there are ads on our channel like we don't make money from it and we're getting close to a thousand subscribers and even if we do qualify for the partner program like we wouldn't like make money from that um we've had lots and lots and lots of people reach out to us and ask if we do private coaching and like we've said no um we've had high schools reach out to us and be like could you coach our school or could you and, or, or people being like we have a product can we can you talk about our debate related product on your channel and i don't know i just really feel like if you're gonna go if you have a platform where you talk about the way speech and debate ought to be done to whatever degree, you lose a lot of credibility when you are making a profit from it. And so um, we've never done that, and we've never talked about any of the places that we've worked, uh, kind of for that reason. The other reason we haven't talked about the places we've worked is because we haven't wanted to co-sign them, right? Like to the degree that we do have a platform like i'm not gonna be like sign up for such and such uh debate academy like one i'm not gonna get more money from that but two like i don't necessarily agree with well i disagreed with most of my bosses about how their um academies were run and how their lessons were taught and whatever um so yeah i'm not I, for those reasons, we're really hesitant to um, muddy that water. Um, but in, in addition to just I'm doing really cool stuff that I want to talk about, um, another aspect of it is that the nonprofit that I work for um, is getting a lot of attention. Like they became a nonprofit after they... Um, had a viral story on humans of new york um we i was on malcolm gladwell's podcast revisionist history vice has been filming a documentary on the non well not on the non-profit but like the like following some kids doing debate 
uh, in our organization. Um, and so it would feel really weird for like that to get attention and for me to start to be known through that. And then this to have people who know me through this and like for me not to acknowledge that like the other one exists. Right. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just want to kind of approach that in a way that, um, values your trust. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm gonna work to figure that out. Um, because, you know, in, in, in the future, I'm going to be like hiring people for next summer's summer camp. And I'd love to come on here and say like, Hey, if you are somebody who coaches debate and you want to apply, like, let me know, let's have a talk. Let me do a job interview with you and, uh, see if it's a good fit. Um, because I think this is kind of the ultimate platform for me to find people who I think are like share values and are, um, yeah, yeah. Like, like dedicated to debate and care about stuff like that. Um, but I also think it's a thin line, right? And, uh, I think if it's not handled, um, thoughtfully, it can seem like, I don't know, cheap and, 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 and cash grabby. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to navigate that. I'm going to make a bunch of, uh, videos that will sometimes talk about that. And, um, I'd love to know your thoughts before I do that. Like, would that feel gross or do you want to know about these things? Right? Like, I, I, I work in the Brooklyn Debate League is the name of the nonprofit. And it, we're doing a lot of really cool stuff. Like if you want to know about that stuff, um, I have their blessing to talk all about it. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd like to know because ultimately we get nothing out of this except occasionally running into somebody at a tournament who says we helped them when they didn't have a debate coach. And, um, that's pretty much all we care about. Um, so let us know. Um, a great way to let us know your thoughts or just what you want to see us talk about or a round you want us to do an analysis of or a topic you want to lecture on or a question that you want answered. Um, the comment section of this video would be great. Uh, we, you can also find me on Reddit. Uh, my uh, Reddit account is Vikings Debate. Uh, I'm on the debate subreddit sometimes. Um, you can email us, proteusdebate at gmail.com. And just, yeah, uh, let us know. And um, really appreciate you taking the time in August to watch a debate video. And looking forward to making some stuff and getting uh, back in the saddle, as they say. All right.